All right, so it is Sunday morning, morning of Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. We are headed on a couple of recoveries. First one's pretty simple. All we know is it's a dump trailer that got overturned. So we're gonna go pick that thing up, deliver it to the customer's house. And then we are calling in our buddy, Don Still from Steel Towing and Recovery. He's actually gonna bring in a heavy that we're gonna use to get a truck out of a, the bottom of an 80 foot ravine. So we've got a couple of things we gotta get taken care of, but we've got a full crew with us. We've got Steve with us. He's filling in for Hillbilly today because Hillbilly's off camping. We got Demery in the back, we got Lincoln, and we got Adley with us. It's a pretty nice day out today, 77 degrees. I think it'll be a good day. All right, so we just got here. The owner already came out with another dump trailer and a skid loader. They got the load that was in the trailer. It dumped out, trailer's back on its wheels. But you can see over here where it started fishtailing and it just went for a ride. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the tongue all the way to the truck, lift it with the bed, and then we're gonna put our skate underneath the jack so it'll, it'll go up the bed. All right, so the reason we're using the snatch block is when we pull straight right in the dead center, it wants to pull everything to the passenger side of the truck. So we're putting constant pressure towards the driver's side and it's keeping this trailer coming up straight with those bent axles and the bent wheels. Wind shirt kicked up, blowing pretty crazy right now. Lincoln woke up because he's helping film. Yes, Lincoln. You never want to use your winch to tie a vehicle down because the winch can bleed off. Always want to chain it or strap it. This is Hillbilly's job normally. He's a muscle house. I ain't going nowhere. So we're gonna go get this thing delivered to the owner's house, and then we're gonna gear up so we can go recover a 1997 GMC 1500 short bed that is 80 feet off a ravine. All right, aside from the wind and the smells, oh, we just lost the cover. For someone to have to go back and get the cover that just blew out on the road. Other than that, it wasn't too terrible. We got it loaded, but we found out it was not a trailer full of feed. It was a trailer full of manure. So it's pretty dang stinky and lots of flies. Just walking up the highway, you never want to leave anything that blows out of your vehicle or what you have in tow. We're headed back up the road to get this before somebody runs it over. It's a great day to spend Father's Day working, working hard. All right, we got a car coming, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. I don't normally run for anything, but I don't want somebody to run over it. Got it. Smells like manure. Yay. All right, disaster averted. We're back on the road again. <laughs> No trash left behind. All right, so it was way too windy to talk out there. So we got the trailer unloaded. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get it off because those wheels that were so bent, they were just being resistant. But we got it shimmied off. We're gonna head back to the shop. Then we're gonna head up to Fairview Canyon. We're gonna get that truck that rolled off an 80 foot embankment. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. <laughs> we called in my buddy Don from Steel Towing. He came over from Green River. Luckily, he was on his way to Nephi. We've got Hillbilly that's gonna be showing up. We've got Steve coming to help us. And then we've got Corey and Brandon going with slinging cameras. Oh, look at that. Don found something cool. Is that a 69 down charger? No way. All right, so we just made it. We're gonna go assess the situation. See what we gotta do to get this truck up off the ravine. Right there. So we got here, Don wants to use his rear cables. So we're just gonna back up on an angle, cable out, pull that thing straight up, and hopefully we load it right on the bed. So we're gonna grab that tire or the, or the frame right there even. Yeah. And we're gonna drag it up over those rocks. We'll get a tie on both sides so we have an even pull through the middle. So we need to like basically scour the whole area, pick up everything, just pack it in there. Sweet. I feel like I hope and pray they survived because that pretty messed up. Need a cover for a CD player? Huh. Style until I take it for my truck. LEDs. This is comfortable. All right, let's go take a look at what we've got. So we're just assessing where the truck's gonna sit before we winch any cables out. For stuff like this, we don't have a heavy. That's why we call Don, because Don's got, how many heavies you got? I two? Got three, well, two, two heavies and a, a tractor. He's the one with the winch box on his skid steer, which we are gonna get one day, just not yet. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Cause it's a good one. If 
they're gonna put all that in the trunk. Let's just grab it from the back. Rather than pull it from the front like we thought, we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna pull it from the rear so all the trash stays in the truck. J hook or a V bridle. Okay. A good, yeah, but still V bridle. Yeah, I've got a chain. This is gonna give us a, a perfect pull okay. side to side when we get straight. Do you have more hook points in the front? Probably about the same. Okay. Current situation, we are at the bottom of an 80 foot ravine. This truck, the guy got life flighted out of here this morning at about 6.45 a.m. He left camp, they say at 9.30 p.m. last night. Nobody called it in until 6 a.m. They had come here, extricate the roof off. Life flight landed on the two lane highway up here in this canyon. They got him out of here. We heard he's alive, so that's good. Luckily, it wasn't worse. So we're gonna get this truck up out of here, get it loaded up and get it back to the yard. Does that mean we're going to be getting a heavy soon? <laughs> that would be so awesome. But if we got a heavy, then we wouldn't be able to use Don. He makes this stuff easy. All right, they're gonna do a hook in the middle now so we have a straight pole to get it up here. All right, good to go. We're gonna head up the hill with everybody. We got little pieces. We're gonna grab them on the way up and we'll see you at the top. That's a deep hill. That wasn't too bad. I'm just gonna get in, pull it forward and pull it right up onto this flat. The reason we bought brought two trucks is because the Wimpy 550 was no way gonna winch that off of the bed. Made light work of pulling this little truck up. So it's up here on the flat, I'll back up, we'll hook it, and we'll all be down this road before we even knew we were here. It's Father's Day and we're all fathers and we wanna get out of here. So Absolutely. thanks for coming up on Father's Day. Absolutely. Let's just hustle, Hillbilly, because I'm sitting out in the road and we don't have any road closures. Hey. We'll strap that roof on so it doesn't come flying off and we're headed home. Looks like it's a pretty good looking little truck. The reason these tires are still holding air is they're BFGs. Just don't show the other side. Got throw a strap to hold the roof, to hold everything in place. We're not having stuff fly out on the road. Don't want a litter. That's not going nowhere. You made that look way easy. Right equipment, I guess. Yeah. That's right, big, that's big that's trucks. <laughs> Man, I'll bet that landing sucked. That was a hell of a ride. Yeah. It just nestled right into those trees and on those rocks. It's good he didn't die. Well, let's get back down to the shop. Everything is content. Don't forget to film it. Everything is content. Don't forget to film it. So we're going to get off the mountain. Don's going to be headed back to Nephi, back where he's from. And we appreciate all your help, man. You bet. Thank you. Anytime. Let yeah. us know. That's, that's why you have friends with big toys. Thank you for inviting yeah. me. No, oh, thank you for coming and happy Father's Day. Yeah, uh, you too. Let's see ya. So just for some of you that are not familiar with how the process works, we are an auto body shop with a tow company. So what will happen next is we will take this truck back to the tow yard. We'll enter it into a system called IBS. It's impound vehicle systems. This isn't impounded. It's just a system that the state of Utah uses for towing. At some point, the customer will reach out to us or somebody associated with them. We'll figure out if there's insurance. Obviously this thing's a total loss. We're just pretty dang grateful that the person survived. It looked like a very terrible wreck but we were able to get the truck out of there so we're gonna get back to the yard and get it unloaded so we made it back to the shop we're gonna be headed home to hang out with our kids and our families so we'll unload this tomorrow morning we're super happy for Don coming over from steel towing he helped us save the day today makes me want to get a big wrecker hillbilly thinks we should get a big one what do you guys think think we should get one let us know as always, we appreciate you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.